Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Today we are planning to go to Chinatown. There's a um, summer night going on this evening, but uh, before we go there, we're gonna take our car to have an oil change. So our dear brother is uh, kind enough to uh, help us with the oil change. Say hello. Hello, 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 hello. Pedo praying here, bong prong. Meh, bong prong nyong kai meh na pa dap pam. Ba cha mu cha bi trao meh, dap pam. Hai bong, na chieng la na. Na chieng la na, na chieng la na. Ok, ba kro bie meh. And then I'll all now mob people from this is a 2005 BMW X3. It's my baby. Bought it brand new with only 61 miles on it, but now it's more than 200,000 miles and it's still running. Yeah, that's because I always change the oil regularly, also transmission fluid. Um, every 100,000 miles so yeah it's still running smoothly there's some sensors that went bad a few times but uh, we always managed to fix it ourselves so so it requires because of the mileage <laughs> it requires the SAE 5W30 this is for older cars and this is recommended for this car so this is the oil filter that we need to replace and it requires six quads so six okay so let's see how how um we pump out the oil okay so first thing is to remove the oil cap just twist and turn if i can turn it can you turn I think you already turned and it just lifted up. Okay, there it is. Alright, and then he will insert the um, this tube through the uh, dipstick. Dipstick is over here. Alright, so I can remove the dipstick. Insert it through the dipstick all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Until it reaches the bottom and then start pumping. See the oil is pumping. Yeah. Now it's pumping. So the tube is filled with oil. So it's pumping. This is a easy way to to do the oil uh, change um, instead of going underneath the car and uh, unplug the uh, the drain you can do it from the top this way but I think once in a while you'll have to um, drain it out because there may be some debris that needs to go down to the bottom of the car but um, you know I think once every other oil change you can do this um, this way it's faster and you can do it at any time like right now it's in the middle of the day and it's very hot and I just I've been driving the car this morning also so it, the engine is hot you don't want to go underneath the engine the, um, the car so this is the best method okay so let it uh, drain you see now it already um, pumping about a quarter and a half uh, so far So if it depends um, if the oil is not leaking, uh, you will see about six quads, maybe five and a half to six quads uh, coming out. Okay, and then we will have to um, put six quads of the fresh oil back in and uh, place the filter. We should be good to go. Okay, so it's gonna take about maybe five to ten minutes to uh, complete. Brother bought a jackfruit. How many pounds? 
32 pounds. 32 pounds. It's a huge one. 2 pounds for 99 cents. 2 pounds for 99 cents. Which store did you buy it from? Yeah. Store in St. Gabriel. Okay. Uh, he just went to St. Gabriel. Look at his garage. Filled <laughs> completely full. <laughs> he even have, he even have the uh, has the uh, refrigerator here, <laughs> backup refrigerator. <laughs> so it's completely full. So we got um, Logan Logan tree over here. A lot of flowers coming out. So we last year. It fruits a lot, but uh, it fruited a lot, but um, uh, it wasn't that good because the the seed the seed was too big. And um, persimmon, persimmon is over here. Persimmon already have the uh, fruits coming out. Yeah, it's already fruiting. A lot of uh, little tiny fruits. Every year we, we used to come over here to just, you know, pick the, the semen. And over there, it has um, this guava. guava, big guava tree over here. Any fruit left? No? No fruit yet. I think it comes later in the season. And we got the banana. See this uh, banana tree. He bought. Uh, he brought with. Uh, I think he started with one. He planted with one. A friend of his gave it to him. And now, look at how many trees he got. A lot of trees. Yeah. So, banana is very easy to plant. And uh, he got also tomato. Some chili. Not sure if this one is spicy, but um, yeah, chili, uh, chili, dragon fruit, dragon <laughs> tree, actually, dragon tree, no fruit yet. <laughs> and I, I don't know what is this, chuk chuk tree, <laughs> chuk chuk tree, and he got a few of um, papaya trees that are already fruiting. Okay, and then uh, bay leaf, uh, this is um, curry leaf, or bay leaf, right? Curry, curry tree, so um, you got uh, a full tree. Yeah, this is, you know, the um, smells. Mmm, very smelly. And this one is a lime tree. There's also lemongrass over here. Uh, lemongrass is typical um, in um, Cambodian houses uh, around Cambodian <laughs> yards <laughs> and also right here right here is uh, basil and this is holy basil uh, this one is good for cooking with chicken and stuff you got also taro over there is it taro Hmm? Mm, sort of uh, and this okay, not terrible. So he got terrible. Look at his um, papaya. It's already ripe. So after like five minutes, six minutes maybe, we are up to five quarts. So there's. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we need to pump a little bit more so that we can get the bottom to the bottom portion of the oil. Not the dirty oil. Okay. So it should be around five and a half, I think. Maybe five and a half. Maybe five and a half quarts. Oh, it's almost out.
above the the bubbles start to come out from the inside the tube there. So means that it's almost out. I think it's okay to leave some in there. Let's just try to take as much out as, as possible. This is, like I said, this is a, the fastest and easy way to do the oil change. Yeah, in like 10, 10, 15 minutes, you're done. Okay, done. Be like five, a little bit over five um, quarts. We recycle the oil, bring it back to the, um, the auto zone and recycle the oil. Okay, now to remove the uh, oil filter, it's on top here. Then you need to go the other way. There you go. There you go. That's it. So removing the oil filter. So this car is very easy to um, change oil. Because the filter is on top, and uh, you know, if you have the um, top extractor, the oil extractor, like we, the one that my brother has, then uh, it's easy to just do it from the top. And, uh, It's overdue because it used to leak oil um, because of this piece back here. Um, this piece right here, okay. that piece right there, uh, it was leaking oil through there, and I replaced it um, maybe two months ago, so it stopped uh, leaking oil. Uh, yeah, when it was leaking a little bit, um, I just added oil i didn't replace the oil because i was trying to figure out where it was leaking from and uh, yeah so i found out that it was leaking from here and i replaced that tube and um, you know it stopped leaking so now it's time to uh, replace the oil and filter okay okay how it looks like that's a filter that you need to remove, replace with a new one it's a new filter right here yeah that is a brand new filter so you can see side by side see the oil was very bad actually and when you replace the filter don't forget to replace also this uh, rubber seal rubber seal okay it's important because if you don't use the new one you might have a leak coming from there when you when you put the uh, new oil filter back in okay so, um, yeah don't forget to do that it's important okay let's put the new one back in so yeah it goes in like that very easy just insert it in all the way to the bottom and that's it. You just uh, reinstall it or install it uh, back into the car. Okay, all done. Yep, it's nice and tight. That's all you want. Not too tight. But just enough, you know, to make sure that it doesn't pop up. Okay, and then um, just add in the new the oil, the fresh oil, and we should be done. Okay, this is uh, five quarts. Just let the drain in there. Five quarts of mobile one. This is synthetic, uh, fully advanced, fully uh, synthetic oil. 
Uh, for all European cars, I think uh, synthetic oil is the requirement. And um, yeah, so just let it um, feel slowly until you complete. This car requires six quads, so we're gonna put in six quads. Five, this is the five quad um, container, so we're gonna put in another additional quad after this one is done. Additional quads that we need. I guess it's a six engine um, car and uh, it's a 3.0 liter, so it requires six quads. Yeah, that should do it. Just need to put the lid back on. to reset the uh, maintenance there you go that's it thank you so basically you need to press and hold this reset button set and reset button right here and at the same time turn the ignition key on for about five seconds and then it, will res it should reset there you go so the next oil replacement is two, 236,000 miles okay right now we are at 223,000 miles okay so it's good to go.